Go on. Welcome back to Jack Plays Golf. We're here with a new series of trying to make par in a best ball scramble with myself and Dan. And over to Dan to start things off. Nice. Who sends it right down the middle. Absolute textbook from Dan. Oh, it's so, I don't, I don't even need to hit. So it gave me a chance to go more aggressive, trying to play over the tree on the right. Strike from the boys. Oh, pot on. Uh, mine might be in the tree. Uh, Dan's is definitely right in the middle. It's just whether, if mine cleared it, then it might have even gone almost perfect, but I think it just fell short, to be honest. But we'll see. Perfect start. Perfect start there for the go. boys. Get the par train on the go early, or even, on dare I say, better. <laughs> dare I say, better. Unfortunately, mine did get stuck in the tree, whereas Dan's was perfectly in the fairway. Nice, nice. I've hit it a tad long there, so it's going to be Dan's ball again. Too much. Too much. A little long. Ah! Oh. Solo bird? <laughs> that is solo bird. Not needed. And what a debut for the channel. Unfortunately, head over to the left and one in the tree there. And I've hit a stinger down the middle to the left. And it's going to stay in the fairway, but not quite as far as I'd hoped. Happens to everyone. Thankfully, I've managed to hit it down the middle of the fairway towards the green. A little bit short but I wanted to make sure it was in the center of the fairway. Not quite as good as last time, but just uh, short of the green. Uh, not in the bunkers. Uh, Dan may have got a little pissed off at the guy in, in front. Um, don't know what he was doing. He was just waiting on the tee box. Not waiting on the green, sorry, filling in everything, like literally no rush. And there's two of us like waiting to hit a shot. But anyway, we move. Short chip onto the green. Up the bar. Let's get it done. Nice chip from Dan, a little bit short. I'll be good, be good. Oh. Gives me a good eye on what I need to do. And I kind of copied him, but slightly to the sure, left. I thought that was going to be good, and then it just. Uh... Dan trying to make the par putt, unfortunately rolls it past it. And I've come a little bit short to the right, but makes it Knock for it a in. nice, easy tap in for Bogey. So Bogey takes us back down to par overall. So not too bad. Dan on the tee box again. Unfortunately finds a tree on this occasion. It's all good, it's all good, we'll get it. I too have found the tree on the right hand side, but a little bit further up. So unfortunately I'm just under the tree there, which means, oh, and there's a stump next to it as well. There's the flag over there. Dan hits this one nicely down the middle and it rolls off to the left of the green. And I chunk it not too far in front of me. Dan with a nice chip up onto the green. Rolls past the flag. We're on the green with a putt for par. And I've hit that one very nicely. And that's gonna be probably one of the best chips of the day. Dan to finish off the job. Yes, Dan, never in doubt. That's back on the par train. Par overall still. Let's leave a like for that one. Cheers mate, pleasure. And Dan's teed off just to the left hand side there. And I followed that up with going short to the right. Leaves us a long putt from just outside the fringe. Go on. Looks 
good. And I followed that up with a slightly shorter and worse putt. Down for par. Oh, it's a lot left to right. Dan sinks it in for bogey, so give me a lot. And it's gone round the rim, but it's in the hole, so that's in for par. Second on the train so far. So we decided to miss this hole because it was the uh, temporary green. Dan brought out his driver and drove it onto the green. So, you know, next hole we may consider using Dan's drive, but I still think we should use his hybrid, but I'm gonna go first and then we'll go from there. Yeah, the driver. And I've sliced that one off to the right-hand side. So I'm in the fairway on the right. Dan sticking with the driving iron. And that's gone to the left fairway. <laughs> We're on fairways, just not the um, not So chose my one because this is a nicer lie. Way too much. And I've hit that clean with the nine iron, running back to see where it's going. And as you can see from Dan's reaction, that got really close. If you enjoyed that shot as much as me, then please hit the subscribe button. And thanks to those who have subscribed already. Well, uh, I'm very happy with this one. Dan reckons it was close to going in. We're gonna hopefully get this one for birds now. Over to Dan with the putter again. Nice, yes, Dan. All right, good, let me see if I can find it. So again, the tee shot, <laughs> not ideal. But um, got the birdie in the end, thanks to Dan, good putt. So that puts us to one under after five holes. Break par is well and truly on the cards. Uh, not break par, make par. Yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got a one shot buffer and hopefully we get a good tee shot off on this one now. I've smacked the five iron, nearly fell over in the process. Sit, and sit. so close for being absolutely perfect from Dan there. Uh, my tee shot has hit the tree and then rolled back down the bank, sitting in the middle of the bank. It looks like it's probably going to be obstructed by the tree as well. Yeah. Dan's we can't quite see yet. We're thinking it's, it's off to the left. We're just hoping that that tree isn't in its way. So Dan to go first on this one. Oh, he's found the bunker. Followed by myself. So mine unfortunately hit this branch and uh, that's, that's pulled down by the looks of it. I've got you. Go on. Oh, yes, Dan. Loves a bunker. That is the face of a man that loves the bunker. I mean, you're never going to follow that one up, really, are you? Oh, too hard. I reckon you had the line just... It's the par. That's the one. One under through six. Yep. So looking pretty confident now, and I've hit that one right down the middle with the hybrid. Couldn't have probably hit that any better. So that gives Dan the option to just try and hit the driver as hard as he can. On just, this occasion, though, it has uh, sliced like off to the right. The as well. Leaving us with a chip in. Dan's come just short of the green there. So I've hit it a little bit low, but it has made it onto the green, so it will give us a putt for birdie. Long putt. Weirdly happy with that one. Dan follows up with a Go equally good putt. Oh, it's had like a little bobble right at the... Well, it's good putting from the boys. 
take Dan's because he's not going to miss this. Hey, nice. Another par. Par train's still, still going at full steam. Short par three now. Oh, he's going at it. You didn't hit. You didn't. You didn't hit it very hard, eh? Nah, I like chunk. Yeah. That felt pretty good out of the hand. Landed on the green. It spun to the left. Well, we know we're one under. Two holes to get on the green. This for bird. Birdie would be a bit ridiculous. Another birdie putt. Oh. And that's unfortunate. Dan's looking oh, good as well. Oh, Unfortunately, just short. short. Yeah, see it off, mate. Nicely done. One under, one hole left. Oh. Dog leg to the left, and I've gone way off to the right. So over to Dan to put us in the middle of the fairway somewhere. And unfortunately, he's gone off to the right, I think for the first time of the day. Giving ourselves work. All right, so not the best tee shot from the boys. We're off to the right. Uh, I think we're gonna play mine. Uh, yeah, it looks like it'd be playable, but it's going to make it a lot more interesting going into the green, that's for certain. And Dan's hit that off down to the left. It was a hard lie, to be fair. Unfortunately, Dan's not recorded this one, but I've tried to draw the tracer on as best as I can. It's actually a really nice draw over the tree with the wind, but just came a little bit short. So we got close to the green, unfortunately it came up just short, but with the wind going at us like how it was, definitely worth it. Uh, a little chip in for bird would really complete the video. After a bit of discussion, we decided to go putter first. Kind of bobbled a little bit, so I've gone with the wedge. And I've not carried it further enough either. Uh, it's like... So putt for par to stay one under. I've missed just to the right. Uh, Over to Dan to keep us one under for the round. And he's left it a little bit short. Uh... So that's the train over. But what a performance. Another bogey to finish on. So par overall, ended on a bogey, which is a bit of a dampener, but to get two birdies, two bogeys, and the rest pars, it's quite a good par train. Uh, first episode of break, well, making par. Making par. Maybe one day we'll break par, who knows? Um, thanks for watching, uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and we'll catch you next time for another attempt at breaking par. See you next time, team. All right, bye.